With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let's understand again question. A body is thrown up with a velocity of 100 meter per second. It travels 5 meter in last 1 second. Upward journey, if the same body thrown up with a velocity of 200 meter per second, how much distance in meter will it travel in the last second of its upward journey g equal to 10 meter per second square so we can start from the given so initial velocity of the uh, of a body we have given 100 meter per second g value we have to take 10 meter per second square and distance travel t is equal to we have given in the last one second 5 t equal to last one second we have to calculate so suppose we have a ground surface like this and we are throwing the body in the upward direction with the velocity of u so we know that it will reach to the highest point so at a highest point the velocity will become zero and then this will started to come towards downward again and g value we know that this is always downward so both are vector quantities so if we'll take a u value upward and g value downward so we have to take one is positive one is negative now what is saying the cash indication that in the last one second so suppose this is the last one second so in the last one second distance traveled is equal to d and uh, d equal to 5 meter we have given so suppose at the end of the you know, or the starting of the one second this total time interval is one second distance is t so start of the one second the velocity is v1 and time t equal to one so we can write here according to newton's equation motion that if we have initial velocity and final velocity so we can calculate final or initial velocity by help of the equation v equal to u minus of gt if this is going upward so if you will apply the equation here so initial velocity this is upward here so v1 sorry this is initial velocity v1 is initial velocity so v1 minus g total time interval is 1 and final velocity is becoming 0 so we can write here v1 is equal to g or we can say 10 meter per second square here now distance traveled we can calculate easily because we have time we have uh, we have given time we have initial velocity we have final velocity g value so we know that another equation that if we have final velocity so v, uh, so v square is equal to u square minus of 2g s okay so here again we have to uh, put the values so this uh, u1 for uh, for this interval is equal to v1 square minus of 2 into g into s and this is equal to 0 so we can write here v1 square upon 2g is equal to what we got s so s equal to we have v1 square upon 2g and v1 value we have g only v1 value we have g only so v1 does not depend on the initial velocity so s is also does not depending on the v1 velocity because g is constant so we can write here that if we'll put the values over here because v1 equal to g we have so we can write again that g square upon 2g and this will always be equal to g by 2 or we can say 5 meter so we can write in the final answer that in last one second distance traveled does not depend does not depends on initial velocity 
initial velocity of body so we can write here according to option option a 5 meter is correct answer for this question i hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today